Hey everybody, Delphine here. Just wanted to check in. Um, I'm having kind of a transition phase right now and sort of wanted to get some stuff out. Um, so first of all, school is getting really, really crazy. Uh, it's the last few weeks of school, so everything is getting, you know, really hectic. You know, all the final projects, essays, tests and everything are really starting to, to hit. Uh, so there's that. Um, there's the fact that, um, the biggest update, I guess, is the fact that uh, I mentioned in the last video um, that I'm not going to Japan anymore for study abroad, unfortunately. But now I'm actually starting to find or trying to find uh, ways to sort of replace that, working with my school to try and find stuff. And I'm applying for kind of language immersion programs that are going to be in the U.S. Um, for Japanese. So I'm hoping that works out. And it's also keeping me very busy because I have to, I mean, it's sort of stressful. I have to find, you know, get letters recommendation and get essays and everything and I'm trying to get it all done within the next few days so it's all kind of uh, hectic but at the same time um, things are a little bit better when it comes to Japanese stuff I mentioned I was in kind of a funk about it and now I think I have the opportunity to sort of uh, get back into it because the more official it is that I'm not going to Japan and the more clear that is to me the more I can begin to really accept it and move on. And now that I have sort of this other goal, this, you know, immersion school, or if I, you know, I'm also looking to see if I can maybe find an internship somewhere where they speak Japanese, something to replace it. It, it sort of gets me, you know, gives me purpose again. It, it gets me that drive to sort of study Japanese and, you know, keep getting better at it. And also recently, just a small thing that helped, um, I finally was able to make it to the um, Arashi, chat sessions that Amaya Egg-chan hosts um, and it was a lot of fun it was nice to talk to everybody and I haven't been uh, keeping up too too much I've been keeping up with what's going on with Arashi but I haven't been like keeping up with their shows very well or or listening too much of their music uh, not as much as I used to at least and it was really nice to sort of share it with other people and you know it kind of got me back into it so that's another thing that's sort of getting me back into the Japanese stuff is you know getting back into the the, the media type of things and then the Arashi stuff so that's really good so I actually um, wrote down a bit of a little list for myself some goals of small things that I want to change um, because through the sort of funk that I've been through I've sort of let go um, of some Japanese learning like habits that I've had that I kind of want to get back. Um, so first of all, I want to listen to more music and just, like I said, I mean, I am really busy and I'm not the kind of person who listens to music when I study. Um, oh, someone's mowing, hope that's not too loud. Um, anyway, uh, but I realized today, I was walking home from school and I started listening to music on my way home and I realized that I haven't done it in forever. I don't know, I'm usually on the phone or something uh, when I walk around, but I, I don't have that happen anymore of listening to music and um, it's an easy thing to do just when I'm walking around, walking to class or back uh, to just put in my headphones and just have that Japanese sort of running. Um, so I'm gonna make a bigger effort to do that and it's kind of energizing too, like listening to, to music on the way, just like, okay, I'm going to class, like, yay. So there's that. Um, Something else I want to do is try and read more manga before going to bed. Uh, don't have much time to read it kind of on a regular basis to actually sit down and try and read um, Japanese text, but it's something that I can do really easily before going to sleep, you know, just like a couple pages, if nothing else. Um, that's something I definitely want to try. And plus, you know, doing it before I sleep, um, I think it's sometimes better, you know, it kind of gets into your mind more while, while you sleep. So right before going to bed, read more manga, in Japanese, of course. Next, I want to try and watch more TV. It's something I've really let go of. Uh, like I said, I've, I'm really behind when it comes to the Arashi shows. I sort of watch them here and there. I watched the very most recent ones, but kind of didn't spend too much time during this semester. And so I want to change that. Um, I've, I've, I've gotten into the nasty habit of sort of turning on American TV on my downtime instead of watching Japanese TV. So I, I want to actively try and change that. It was kind of painful to do at first, you know, like, I, you know, I was kind of almost avoiding that Japanese stuff um, because it reminded me of the, you know, earthquakes and tsunami, you know, stuff that was going on. But now I think I'm, you know, I'm past it, you know, I, I'm ready to get back and in, into 
the media again and get excited about all this stuff and have fun with it and you know continue practicing my Japanese through that so that's something that I really want to make a change in right there is to replace the American TV with the Japanese TV more specifically I want to sort of pick up a new drama um, I think it's going to be Bartender I started watching a couple of episodes but I really want to finish it so um, I have Bartender and I've been I was watching um, Freeter Rita Ieokao, uh, but I, I don't know, stop before the last episode, so I want to finish that and then I want to watch Bartender. So those are my goals that I kind of hope to finish before the semester ends. And finally, just, you know, a small thing is my SRS reps for kanji. Uh, it's not, I'm not too, too concerned about it because um, I, I know it's something that I don't have the most fun with compared to listening to music and watching TV, you know, actually like practicing to write kanji. Like I, I, don't, I you know, I still like it, but um, it, it, I just kind of want to, I mean, I've been keeping up with it, but not that well. And I, I, I forget that it's there and I want to remind myself just a little bit more, not, not, you know, too revolutionary of a change right now. I am really busy, but just a little bit more. So those are kind of all the habits that I was more into, kind of got out of, and want to get back into. So anyway, that's my, that's my ramble for this time. I'm hoping to get back into everything successfully. Like I said, school is going to get really busy, so I don't know how well this is going to go, but there we go. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. That's kind of, those are my goals, but maybe you can sort of pull some things from that too. Uh, pick up some new habits yourself for your Japanese learning if you're learning Japanese. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!